So guys, this video does not go for all people. Um, because this doesn't happen to everybody, but for the people that it happens to. We're about to turn these negatives into positives, so let me explain this in this video. So basically, you know, depending on where you come from, depending on who's around you, depending on certain things, um, your friends and family very well could turn on you when you start to become successful because maybe they didn't ever see you doing that and you did. Um, <clears throat> maybe they just did not see it coming from a hole in the wall and you proved them wrong. Maybe they thought for sure you were going to fail and you didn't and you proved them wrong. So now they're mad so they turn on you and they're jealous, they're envious, they're all these things. Uh, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of variables, there's a lot of things that goes into this, for real. And it's really not your problem, but at the end of the day, you can take these negatives and turn them into a positive. And it's what you have to do. It's what you must do. You can't let these things get you down. You can't let these things stop you from achieving the things and the goals that you want to in life. Um, you're on your path. You're on your purpose. You're, you're probably doing what you do. You might not even be where you want to be yet, but you're trying and people are still turning on you. So it's what happens if you don't come from the right families, if you don't come from the right backgrounds. Um, that's how it usually happens to these types of people because if you come from a rich family and they had the money, they had the abundance, they had everything to give you in order for you to become successful, obviously they're not going to be this way. So. For these types of individuals, this video would not resonate with you. But for the people that came from basically nothing, like they had to work their way to get what they got because their parents can barely fend for themselves, um, this would go for you. And there's a good chance you probably have not the greatest friends because you attract what you're always around. And, you know, there's a lot of reasons why things play out the way they were. If you're chosen, it doesn't matter what circumstances you were brought up in. You have a mind of your own. You are your own person. And it just, nothing really ever mattered to you because you, it's like you always knew the truth since birth. And, and, and it's a crazy thing. Uh, I feel... When it came to myself, I had, I have all the friends. I was friends with everybody, like in school. There's these different, there's, there's these different types of people, like in schools, and we'll relate to this. Like I was just friends with like everybody from every group. Like I just, I never had one group. So I understand people is, is the thing. I, I never really fell into anything. But some people can still overlook you a little bit, not thinking you're going to be anything. And when you do, they kind of turn their backs to you. And, you know, I had some people from my hometown do it. And when you know people the longest and it's those people that do it to you, it will affect you the most. But at the end of the day, you can't let it get to you. I'm glad things happen the way they happen for me. Because they don't deserve to be in my life anyways. They never did. I just so happened to grow up by them. And that's the unfortunate thing. And for a lot of you guys, it's the same thing. But, you know, people just act real weird, man. When you're starting to become successful, when you're starting to pop off, people's going to act real weird. They're going to start to treat you bad because you're making them feel bad because you're becoming successful and they're not. Um... It's a, it, it's a weird thing. It's really hard to, to put things into words. It's all spiritual. It really is. It's a spiritual thing. And there's really no other way of saying it. Their spirit just cannot stand that yours is aligned, that yours is on point, that you're hitting your targets. And they're just not. And their time might just not have came yet. 
that's what a lot of people don't understand either if you're young like geez pal like your time can and will come be patient don't be don't feel bad don't be mad because somebody else is achieving succeeding whatever don't feel bad your time will come you can't have that envy mindset you always got to know that your time will come and to just appreciate the people that are doing maybe what you want to do or are achieving certain levels of success that you wish to appreciate that you don't gotta go crazy and just overly support them and just go haywire with it just appreciate it like that's really all you gotta do don't envy appreciate appreciate greatness and you too can become great if you envy you ain't going anywhere you're not doing anything and it's a terrible mindset to have it does nothing for you it does nothing for anybody it just creates more negativity in this world that we do not need and what I like to do in these videos is to take a lot of negative stuff and turn it into positive because in my life I was faced with a lot of negativity unfortunately a lot of it came from school it came from people obviously but you meet people in school so it came from school is what I'm saying and uh, I turn those negatives into positives I allowed situations to motivate me to be stronger and better than ever to really become who I'm supposed to become and that's the path I'm on. That's the path everybody needs to get on. And it's all about taking these negatives and turning it into positives. Because a lot of people here, a lot of people on this channel, a lot of people in general in the world go through a lot of negative stuff. Because the world is like overridden with negativity nowadays and it's, it's, it's sickening. I just like to do my own thing for the most part. I don't really care. Otherwise, that's what I like to do. I like to be around smart things. I like to be around smart people. I like to hear smart people talk. That's what I enjoy. Cut the cut the BS. Because I don't care about it. I like intelligence. I'm attracted to intelligence. And I'm turned off by unintelligent things and people. It just... I could care less about it. I'm just not passionate about it. You know, you got to be sharp in the mind for me to mess with you. Sharp. And, <clears throat> you know, my people pleaser days are over. I did too many good things for the wrong people. And those days are way over, man. Those days have been over since my teen years. But, because everyone's young at some point, you give people excuses. You don't, you don't imagine everybody growing up to be what they grew up to be like, right? You saw what I mean. But yeah, some people became adults and just stopped. Hit ninth, they hit 18, 19, and they just stopped. Not only did they stop, but they got worse and worse and worse and worse and worse, which is even worse than being 18, 19. So that's that's how some people go, and you just can't be around that stuff. You want to be around more intelligent things, more intelligent people. YouTube is a great place to be because you get to pick and choose who you want to listen to. You're not just being thrown over here, over there. You're forced to be around these people. You're forced to be around those people. You get to pick and choose what you click on. You get to pick and choose who you want to listen to, to take in knowledge and information and surround your mind, most importantly, with just more positive things and a lot of, a, a lot of deep truths, conversations, and stuff like this. 
I've been doing this myself since I was like 19 years old. And before that, I was watching a lot of sports, obviously, and stuff like that. But I started getting hardcore into knowledge and books and stuff like that when I was 19. Like, I started learning the real stuff when I got out of school. Because you learn a lot of fake stuff in school that just does not matter. I'm not saying everything in school is useless because that's just ridiculous to say. Because you learn just important things. You learn how to read, write, math. Those things are important. You need to learn some things in school, but there's a lot of useless things as well, as we all know. And I got to pick and choose what I wanted to learn when I got out of school, which is what I did, which is what I still do to this day. And I'm passionate about doing it myself. So, yeah. I'm just trying to think right now. What date was it? What what year was it? Uh, it had to have been at least 2014, 2015. When I started getting on YouTube. And it started with like motivational videos like Les Brown, Ed Milet, um, Eric, Eric Thomas, Eric something, these motivational gurus, it started, it all started with that and you start to hear it and it starts to resonate with you and you can feel it in your spirit, you can feel it like in your heart, you can just feel it throughout your entire body and it makes your fingers and toes just tingle. And it's like it's lighting a fire in you and you just need to hear it. It's like there's some things you just need to hear sometimes. Because you don't have it around you. You don't have that good energy. You don't have good people around you. So YouTube is a great place for that reason. YouTube is a huge thing for a lot of people. You can literally be raised off of YouTube. Like you don't even need parents nowadays. You don't even need anything nowadays. You can literally be a hermit with a computer or a phone wherever and you can literally educate yourself on YouTube for free <clears throat> it's an amazing place and that's why I don't understand how some people can have all these excuses like they didn't have this or they didn't have that I have no excuses for anything it doesn't matter what I didn't have or did have get it yourself it's out there a lot of people from my hometown like to make excuses. Like they didn't have certain things or oh, I came from here. Doesn't matter where you come from nowadays because you got everything on the internet. Do anything. <clears throat> and you know, before I cut this video off, I just want to finish by saying, um, Yeah, just understand that like when you really up yourself and your conscious and your mind and your spirit, you can be doing the littlest things and you're just improving. People know it. People around you, maybe negative people that are around you are going to know it and it could be your friends or family and they will start to envy you because of it because you're doing it and they are not. And it's ridiculous. But it is what it is. That's how you know who's real, who's not. We've got the real. We've got the fake and make your own decisions do what you want to do and just don't be surprised at the end of the day whenever people act the way they do around you or to you because I ain't surprised I'm just looking past everybody for the most part where I come from that is around me not everybody there's some there's some good lads that come from the same place that I come from that I will have conversations with but for a lot of the people I just avoid at all cost I just, I could care less. Some people ain't the worst people in the world, but it's like I still, I'm just, you know, I'm just doing my thing, pal. I'm not being ignorant. I'm just doing my thing. So, and you know, it's, it's those same people that you get too close to when you start to see their true colors, their true side, their negativity, their demonic spirits. It's because they had those negative spirits. And you can tell when you spend time around them. They won't let you really know. They'll try to act positive when you first see them. But when you start to like get around them, you start to, you're spending more time around them, you start to see who you're really dealing with. 
and that's the thing with those people. That's why I like to avoid them and, and just continue to do my own thing. I'm not looking for negativity. It's like these people are just lost in their own chaotic world and you're just doing your thing in your flow state in your in your flow state of mind you're just trying to go about your day so like I said guys don't be surprised when you see certain things from certain people don't let it surprise you I know a lot of you ain't so I'm just clarifying what you already know and that's pretty much it for this video so I'm gonna get out of here now get some extra fluids in me and I'm going to roll my back it a little bit because it's still kind of sore. <clears throat> I just hope it gets better quicker than, you know, a month or so injury. That would not be good. I'm probably going to visit a chiropractor at the start of this coming week, maybe on a Monday or Tuesday. And hopefully that's going to help up the recovery. But anyways, no for now. <clears throat>